everyone, I took a break from dolls in March and I am slowly getting back into some stuff. Today, I wanted to share a recent purchase from Safar BJD Tailoring. They are based out of France and I have been eyeing their shop for a while. But it seems that every time the last Saturday of the month comes around, I'm busy with something else and I miss the big ticket items. They maintain a shop on Etsy and actively post on Instagram of the items they are working on throughout the month. I've seen the shop offer modern items as well as fantasy clothes and sometimes accessories like bags or backpacks. Oftentimes they restock items that sell out in the next month's drop if they're able to get the materials again. This time I was still late, so I missed out on the leather jackets, but I managed to get one of the last few in stock jackets that were inspired by Howl's Moving Castle. I also grabbed one of the sheer mesh zip ups for my girls. So far, BJD Tailoring shipped the pieces out the very next day and it took just over a week to arrive in Texas. I have my long sole 68 centimeter boy and a doll she 16F body to help model these pieces. I ponder for a moment on whether the mesh zip up will fit over the doll she hands and even though there is not much give in the wrist, I thought I would make the attempt. Then shortly realized that it's not going to work and that I'm going to have to get the paddles in order to get this piece on. So I move on to the Howl inspired jacket. While I've been thinking about trying to get one of these for a while, timing just never worked out. But the artist made it clear that this would be the last time they would produce this jacket. So when I logged on to Etsy several hours after the drop, there was one in stock in the 70 centimeter plus and I bought it straight away. The details on this jacket are amazing and the stitching is immaculate as well as the construction. The small details like gold threading for top stitching, and small gems at the points of the diamond panels are also impressive. I also like the liberties they took with the jewel encrusted collar and the gold trims. Inside of the jacket is lined and the edges are cleanly serged. I like the pop of gold thread against the raspberry red color of the lining. Hal's jacket in the movie serves more as a cape than a functional jacket. I don't think you actually ever see him put his arms through the sleeves. The construction of this jacket is made to lay nicely when worn. I intentionally got the largest size so that I had the option to drape the jacket cape style if I so choose. So here I go to dress him while holding him above the table, basically occupying one of my hands and making it much harder on myself than I need to. The artist is taking a final pre-order for this jacket until the end of the month. So if you'd like to get it for your own doll, there's still a bit of time and this will be your final chance. Note that they will be participating in the Etsy strike from April 11 to the 18th, so you won't be able to place an order at that time, but please do get your order in if you plan on getting this jacket directly from the creator. I went and grabbed the paddles for the doll she 16F body so that I can get the mesh zip up on. It is still odd to me how large they are and definitely would not be helpful if you had a piece where the wrist fabric had no stretch. 
Fortunately, they do fit through this zip up, so I pop them on and get the body dress. Once my 3D printer is operational again, I'm going to print smaller pieces to help with dressing. It is at this point in filming that I realized I didn't show the close-up of this piece not being worn. This is my best attempt to show some details while still on the body. The stitching is, again, very clean and the mesh fabric has a nice drape and feel to it. The little hearts have a fuzzy texture like a very low pile velvet. This zip up would pair nicely with almost any bottom. I will definitely be buying more from Safar BJD Tailoring again in the future. And maybe one of these weekends I'll actually be able to grab one of the new items before they are sold out. Anyway, that's it for me this time. I hope you have a good one. Bye!